Hey everybody, just wanted to show you my homemade saw milling here, how she all works. Just finishing up a 6x6 six six here, 2x6s uh, six and 6x6 six six to uh, re redo my, my deck. Or, uh, my deck got a little bit rotten there, so we decided to build a sawmill. And uh, yeah, build a sawmill so we could redo the timber. So we uh, had a offshore Amazon 660 for a while on her and put a big 200 pound grill on her. We, she couldn't take her. She twisted the crankshaft off on it. So I went into uh, Eganville Country Depot and Sean Snyder, he set me up with this 500i. She's a fuel injected powerhouse. My gosh, she's fast. She's just like a little race car. We're gonna show you uh, how this all works here. We've got a pulley up top, hooked up to my measure tape and a little dot down there. Kind of gets me close to what I have to cut, but I always take my measure tape and measure it up. Used an old Alaskan sawmill kind of deal. Welded it on the top and I got some posts here to slide up and down. And I tie in my locks. I lock that up so she don't move on both sides. She's all bolted in with some big cast iron wheels. So anyway, we got her all braced in. The log grabs are in. We're all set to go. We're gonna cut this cedar here. One more board off of there to get a nice six by six and a two by six out of the top. If uh, you wanna come on over here and hold this while we see how this fuel injected chainsaw starts. This is my first log with it, boys and girls. And uh, we're gonna give her a go here. still on the old homemade saw millie nice beautiful two by sixes six by sixes there nothing you can't do if you put your mind to it take care everybody hope you're all staying safe we'll catch you on the next one